Welcome to the Canvas, the advanced workspace in Invoke where you can push your images further. In this area, you'll do two primary things, create new images with powerful control layer features and edit, refine, or transform images you've already generated. When you open a blank canvas, you'll see a dotted outline on the screen. This is called the bounding box and its size and shape match the aspect ratio you've set in the image tab. Any empty space inside the bounding box will be filled automatically when you press Invoke. Invoke uses your current prompt, settings, and any layers you've added to generate content in that blank area, leaving the rest of the canvas unchanged. For example, if we reuse the prompt from our earlier demo, the image will appear inside the bounding box only. If you press Accept, the generation is added as a raster layer in your Layers tab. If you expand the bounding box and press invoke again, the new empty space will be filled too. This process is called outpainting and is only supported by certain models like Flux and SDXL. If the entire bounding box is already filled with pixel information, pressing invoke works a little differently. Now the system uses the visible raster layer as the starting point for your next generation. You can adjust the denoising strength slider to control how much the model changes your existing raster layer. A lower value sticks closely to the original, while a higher value allows for more dramatic transformations. This is known as image-to-image -image transformation. To go beyond basic prompting, the canvas lets you add control layers, sometimes called control nets. Control layers are available when using advanced rendering models like Flux and SDXL. Here's how they work. You provide a control image and choose the type of control you want. For example, a depth map helps the model follow the depth and spatial guidance from your image. Edge detection guides the model to stay true to the outlines of your reference. Invoke uses this reference to lock in composition, structure, or perspective while generating your image. Control layers offer the highest level of precision and creative control, but they do come with a bit of a learning curve. Newer interpretive models like Flux Context or ChatGPT 4.0 provide another option. With these models, add your control image in the reference image box. Use the prompt box to give instructions. For example, use the depth from this image, but apply nighttime lighting and retexture it. Sometimes you don't want a whole new image, you just want to tweak the one you have. With interpretive models like Flux Context, add the image you'd like to edit as a reference image and describe what you'd like to add, remove, or vary. For example, add a driveway with three luxury cars. Flux Context keeps most of your scene intact while updating only the areas it thinks are relevant. It's fast and easy, but not always pixel perfect. For surgical edits, switch to a model that supports in-painting like Flux or SDXL. Brush an in-paint mask layer to the region you want to change, paint any additional pixel guidance on the raster layer, and those pixels become the starting point. When you press Invoke, the model remixes only that region, guided by your prompt and the denoising strength slider. A lower denoising works well for subtle touch-ups, while higher denoising works for bigger transformations. In-painting provides the highest level of control, but also has the highest learning curve. Like and subscribe to receive updates with full workflow demos of in-painting and other advanced techniques on our channel.